Alright, so finally a train arrived. I was just going to steal a car <laughs> and go look for it, but it arrived. So when it arrives, you want to go up here and press uh, F. Damn it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you're messing this up, buddy. Back up. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo yo schemes and graphics we are making a building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and we are going to be installing the railroad engineer mod all right this one right here is created by joe joe trius all right shout out to the creator when you get down to this download page, I always read the full description. It has a lot of important information, including the controls. Okay, I'm going to say that again. It has the control keys in the description, all right? Also, it has the requirements as well. When you're done reading the description, you want to come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the requirements. As stated right here, we are going to need Scriptbook V. We will not be installing Scriptbook V today, although I will leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to install Scriptbook V if you don't have it already. So so please watch that video and once you have your requirements installed and your railroad engineer downloaded it should look something like this on my left hand side i have one download which is j10 railroad engineer then on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory open up and ready to go i have all of my requirements installed what we need to do is go back to our downloads and open up the j10 railroad engineer folder inside that folder we want to take these two files i have highlighted and we're going to drag and drop those two files over here into our GTA 5 directory. I already have it as you can see. Once that has been dragged and dropped and you have your requirements installed, you can go ahead and minimize any other windows you might have open and run the game. Alright, now once you spawn into the game, what you want to do is of course find a train. Okay, It could be the metro train or the um, railroad train, whichever train in the game. All you got to do is just find the train. All right, right now I am over here in the, um, I forgot what district this is, but it's where the families and ballers be at. It's right across the street from uh, the barbershop. And we're going to sit here and wait on the train to show up. Six and a half hours later. Out the car, uh, all right, so finally a train arrived. I was just going to steal a car <laughs> and go look for it, but it arrived. So when it arrives, you want to go up here and press uh, F. Damn it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you're messing this up, buddy. Back up. Press F and hold it. All right, so as you can see, you want to press F to get in the train and hold the key. Okay, and then there will be a little bar, a little progress bar whatnot. So you want to hold it until that bar fills up and you will see yourself inside of uh, the train. Like right here, I am in the driver's seat right there. Sorry to kind of see me because of the angles, but you can go ahead and change the angles also to inside of um, the cabin, like right here. And then go back to the outside. All right. Now, they do have keys where you can press G to close the doors. Um, I have in-game in screenshots, so when I press G, that opens up the screenshot, but it also closes the doors as well. Okay, so... It sucks you can't see on this side because of this damn station. These camera angles are really the worst. <laughs> but as you can see, the doors are closed. All right. Um, the same gas button for a vehicle is the same for the train. Um, you just press the gas button to go. You can reverse and stop as well. All right. And you can pick up passengers or just speed past uh, the next train stops if you want. Got to be careful on these turns because you will derail. All right, you have your speed at the top as well. All right, slow down right here. As you can see, it's scraping at the bottom. <laughs> so be careful on these turns. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, speed it up. I'll show you what happens when you just uh, keep your finger on the speed. There we go. In first person, we are about. 48 miles. Oh, oh, we derailed. That's it. We derailed. It's 
So you got to be careful on these tracks because it's easy to derail, all right? And if you want to get off, just press the same button you did to get on, and you're all good to go. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go over here and wait on another train and just keep derailing these trains. <laughs> But if this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. E and share the video with your friends that are in a modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's graphics, me and uh, my two big ballin' ass Franklins. We are out of here until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.